I saw the past at work. I work at an oil refinery chemical plant in the southern US. I will not give the company name for obvious reasons. I work primarily around the rail yard, but we do handle business throughout the whole eastern portion of the plant. About a month ago, will not give exact date as you would be able to find my place of work. I had completed my work for the night and had taken the company truck to a part of the refinery that I was more likely to go unnoticed by my supervisor should they be driving around. This has been my go-to spot to hide from the boss and sleep away the remainder of my shift for the past two years or so I have worked here. This part of the refinery where there had been a relatively localised explosion that tragically took the life of a woman that had been employed directly by the owners of the refinery for about five years. She was attempting to fire up burners to restore power to the refinery during an emergency power outage. This took place exactly ten years before on the same day and round about the same time in the morning. The area of the plant where this happened is still taped off and shut down to this day. On this night, while sitting in the truck, it had begun to rain very heavily. We had been in a relatively severe drought for the past several months, so the poor weather was welcomed by all, especially with the notice the plant had sent over the radio stating that there was lightning in the area and to stop work and find the nearest substantial shelter. I was watching a movie on my phone and finding it hard to stay awake with the sound of heavy rain on the roof of the truck. Sometime in the very early morning hours, although I can't be exactly sure on the time, I was awoken from my half-sleep by a huge orange glow that completely engulfed me. It was so intense I couldn't open my eyes past a squint due to the brightness. I could only describe it as being very similar to staring directly into the sun. I immediately recognised that I was in the middle of an explosion. However, there was absolutely no sound, no heat, and no fear. For a moment, I questioned if I was still alive, but as the orange glow died down, I saw a woman, completely engulfed in flames, running for about five or six steps before falling to the ground. Since that day ten years ago, there have been a number of pipes installed that run horizontally just above the ground in front of the furnace and meant to bypass it. She ran straight through them, I mean, she ran straight through them like they weren't even there. Then just as soon as I saw it, it was all gone. The fire was gone. She was gone. The whole space was just as empty as before and I was back to sitting alone in a truck, listening to the rain. I obviously couldn't believe what I had just seen. I, like everyone else at the plant, was familiar with what had happened on that day. And I knew exactly what I had just witnessed. I just couldn't wrap my head around how I had witnessed and even that had happened a full decade in the past. I drove back to our shop where I promptly clocked out and went out to my personal truck. I sat there for at least half an hour trying to come to terms with what I had just witnessed. After the initial shock wore off, I felt very indifferent about it. It didn't freak me out or anything. What I saw was just very matter-of-fact to me. Even still though, I kept the story to myself because I figured there was very little benefit to telling anyone. And even like this is obviously hard to forget, especially in the only three or so weeks since it happened but I have tried not to dwell on it too much because I know I will drive myself crazy trying to comprehend exactly why I was somehow able to witness such a well-known and tragic even from 10 years in the past. Then, last night it happened again. We have a very small loading rack that sits in the back of the rail yard and hasn't been manned or used in years. Last night the weather was very foggy to the point you could only see lights from the refinery for about 100 yards and could only see objects for maybe 25. I was driving the work truck down to a storage tank we have and talking on the phone to my wife about the trip she had taken to visit her mum in the next day over. As I turned the corner near the rack, my phone dropped the call. I didn't think too much of it because service can be spotty in parts of the refinery, although this area usually has a pretty strong signal. Nevertheless, I figured I would just call her back after I had arrived at my destination. I happened to look to my left to glance at the rack. I never had the opportunity to use it, and it had different equipment than I am used to using too. I often look at it when I pass in an attempt to picture how all of it worked. It sits about 30 feet from the road so it's close enough I was able to still make out details pretty well. As I looked over, I saw two men up there. They were wearing the old company uniform and seemed to be hooking up a large white rail car. These white cars are uncommon in our yard but not unheard of. However, if we had one staged in this area, there is absolutely no way I would not know about it. 
nor is there any way I would not have seen it any of the other ten or so times I had passed that area during the day. I could make out their faces well enough to know that neither of the men were anyone that currently works here. I also noticed the rack didn't look nearly as rusty and neglected as it usually does. It still had paint on it, and didn't look overgrown or abandoned at all. That being said, everything was a little blurry. Like instead of being in the fog, it was more like they were the fog, like they were part of it. Then, as I reached the next turn, they were gone. The people were gone, the large white car was gone, and the rack was back to its rusty normal self. Interestingly, the fog started clearing very shortly after this, although I can't say they were really connected. Once again, this took a minute to process, but I was not freaked out at all. I actually just thought it was really cool that I got to witness this time slip two times now. I asked a co-worker that has been here nearly as long as I have been alive when the uniforms changed, and he said it was sometime during 2015. I don't know if I also saw them ten years in the past, or if it was a different, more random amount of time. Our company has been here since the 60s, so there is really no telling. Both events seem to move slower than normal time. Not slow motion, just a little slower than normal. I don't know if this was actually time moving slower, or if my brain was just taking longer to process what it was seeing. These are the only times in my life that I have ever experienced anything like this. I don't know if it has something to do with the plant, the area, or me. I will say the city where this took place is where one of the most well-documented UFO sightings abductions took place. Maybe this is just a place where odd things happen. I'm sorry if my thoughts seem jumbled. Reliving this while typing it has proven to make it difficult to keep my mind on track. I would love to hear of anyone else that has had a similar experience to this. I plan to post to a couple other relevant subs as I'm really desperate to know I'm not the only one that has seen something like this.